Summerlin man is dealing with devastating problems. A sewage backup filled the majority of his home with raw sewage. News Channel 3's Kelsey Gerkins has more from Summerlin. Within 20 minutes, I couldn't even get in the house anymore. The house was just flooded with sewage. Mari Lord lost just about everything he owns after sewage came flooding through his home. My collectibles, the flooring, bathrooms, all the cabinetry, my marble counters all ripped out. It's gone. It's gone. Lord says the stinky and disgusting problem came out of nowhere. And in the bathroom next to me, I hear a gargling sound. And it was a weird sound I'd never heard before. So I went to check it out, and the toilet was coming up and it kept coming up. And then I looked in the shower to the left and it was a black geyser of nasty liquid. Upon further inspection, Lord noticed every drain in his home was shooting up a sewer liquid. He and his dog ran out of the house and called plumbers and the sanitation district for help. We got it to stop and it was just weird. Uh, in our driveway, it was like, um, wrappers of products that I don't use and that sort of there's even weird toys that were in the pipe coming up into my driveway. While Summerlin Sanitation refuses to take responsibility for this problem, after the incident occurred, they did come out here and replace some old sewage pipes along the street. The next day, the county's out on the street ripping up the street and the pipe is literally unattached. There was a big gap in the pipe and they spent about a week fixing that. Then the next week, they fixed a part down the street and then another part down the street. So who's paying to fix all the damage to Lord's home? Right now, me. Right now, me. Um, it's not covered with insurance because it's outside sewage coming onto the property. For now, Lord is focusing on the cleanup, and he says he will worry about how to pay for it later. He just hopes that other people who live near old pipes won't encounter a similar problem. It can happen literally to anyone. I would recommend contacting a plumber you rec you trust and have them look at your situation and see what you can do to avoid what I've gone through. I did give Summerlin Sanitation a call and spoke to the general manager, Mike Sullivan, there. He didn't want to talk to me on camera, but over the phone, he told me that this is not the district's problem and that their pipes were working just fine. He says that the issue at this home has nothing to do with Summerlin Sanitation's pipes. Reporting live in Summerlin, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3.